Shazam! Fury of the Gods is directed by David F. Sandberg and stars Zachary Levi, Helen Mirren, and Lucy Liu. When the Daughters of Atlas seek vengeance on the Champions of Earth, the Shazam family must stop them from taking their powers and corrupting the entire world. When the first Shazam movie came out in 2019, everybody loved it. But ever since then, more and more people have come around to thinking that it's not that great of a movie. And for me personally, I didn't even think it was really that great of a movie when it first came out. Don't get me wrong, I thought it was fun and funny enough, but dear God, I thought the villains of the movie were so boring, so bland, and so generic that there was no life to them like there was life to the main characters. And honestly, watching the trailers for this movie, I was less than enthusiastic. I wasn't a real big fan of how the effects looked in the trailer, I wasn't a big fan of the music used in the trailer, and I wasn't a big fan of the big quips used to end a big scene in the trailers. Basically what I'm saying is I went into this movie thinking I was going to come out hating it. And honestly, I had a lot of fun with it. Don't get me wrong, it is very flawed, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't have a lot of fun with the good things in the movie. Easily the best part about this movie are the kids. The Shazam family, when they are kids, are so fun, are so well written, and are so well identified through the actors and the writing that you just watch them and honestly, this movie could have just been about them. Not even about the superheroes, just about them, and I would have been fully satisfied. All of the actors are so well-rounded in the roles, especially Asher Angel and Jack Dylan Grazer, especially Jack Dylan Grazer as Freddy, who is by far the best character in the whole movie, and we spend so much time with him when he's a young kid just interacting in high school, and honestly, he is by far the best character in the entire movie. Way better than Billy Batson, in my opinion. Freddy does so much in this movie just showing how worthy he is, even when he's not super-powered. It's It really goes to show just how well-written this character is and just how funny he is. The action is really fun, too. Okay, I will admit the effects used during the action scenes aren't really the best best, but they are extremely well thought out creatively, even though they don't look the most realistic. And because of that, all of the action scenes have a lot of energy. And because the villains of the movie's main plan is to take away the powers of each member of the Shazam family, it definitely adds a ticking time bomb to the overall scale and story of the whole film. And on top of that, even though I don't think there is a scene in this movie as brutally dark as that boardroom scene in the first Shazam movie, there are a lot of dark moments in this movie, especially the kills. And I do like the fact that this movie is always willing to go just that little step ahead to prove that no, it's not just a lighthearted comedy, they're willing to go to the more brutal aspects of a superhero movie. And because moments like that were so much more frequent than in the first Shazam movie, the tone definitely felt more consistent throughout the film, balancing the comedy, drama, and darkness very well. All right, so those are the aspects that I loved. What didn't I love about the movie? Well, if we're going from smallest to biggest, I already told you that some of the effects, even though they are creative, don't look the best. And even though I liked the drama and the consistent tone and balance of comedy, drama, and brutal darkness throughout, I did feel like the drama aspect of the film we're sort of lacking. Especially seeing as how there is an entire plot point involving Billy Batson and his foster mom that is completely dropped after being introduced in the first third of the movie, and then all of a sudden is wrapped up really quickly in the last third of the film. Also, this movie has deus ex machinas out the wazoo. I won't get into spoilers as all of my complaints involving that involve spoilers, but let's just say there is a point in the climax of the movie where I just, I thought about walking out. I enjoyed so much of the rest of the movie, but after that moment, I thought about walking out. And then there's the Daughters of Atlas, who 
I only half dislike because Helen Mirren in the movie is actually really good. She has such an intimidating presence and even though there are times where you can tell she does not care, she's still bringing 110% to this role and she is really good. And then there's Lucy Liu on the other hand who... God, I just did not find her intimidating. Even though Helen Mirren, you could tell, did not care a lot of the time, you can tell throughout the entire movie, Lucy Liu does not give a crap about any single word that she is saying, and there are a lot of times, especially when she has to really emote, that she could not care less. At one point in the movie, she is on a dragon, lightning just shooting around her, staff in hand, completely armored like a Spartan, and then she just says, we end this now. Did they just not have time for a second take? The biggest problem with this entire movie falls on this guy's shoulders. I think Shazam and the entire Shazam family when they are adults, are so stupid. The kids in the movie act like regular kids and they're very believable. And even when they're interacting with all of these ancient Greek mythological things, they are really funny and their chemistry with everyone, including themselves, is really well done. However, the adults, on the other hand, are so pandering towards, oh, we're hip kids, ha ha ha, whereas the kids, on the other hand, are so believable that you don't believe these are the same characters for a second. Most of the comedy when the adult Shazam family isn't involved in the movie is actually pretty good, but when the Shazam family adult versions are involved, man, that's when it gets so dated, so cringeworthy, and especially Zachary Levi, who in the first movie, I liked, even though, yeah, he clearly wasn't the same character as Asher Angel's character. But still, he was entertaining enough. But in this movie, it feels like they had to double down on all of the quips when it came to his character. And even though it doesn't reach Thor Love and Thunder levels of tedious comedy, it comes close at times. But still, all things considered... I actually had a good time overall with this movie. The acting and chemistry is great, the action and energy is fun, and the story and tension is always engaging. But the effects aren't the best, the writing feels kind of lazy at times, and most of the comedy with the adult characters fall flat. I can 100% understand why most people wouldn't like this movie, but I can also understand why someone would. And even though I don't love this movie, I don't regret seeing it. I'm going to give Shazam! Fury of the Gods a B. Well guys, thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments down below. I told you a while back that when I hit 100 subscribers, I would do a Blu-ray collection video. Well, I have hit over 100 subscribers. Thank you all so much for that. So just let me know in the comments down below, would you still like to see an entire Blu-ray collection video? Because I am more than willing to do it. Yet at the same time, it's a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. And don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell icon down below to stay up to date on all things movie, all things TV, all things nerd.